Let's talk about cable size. How do you figure out what size of cable you need to power your off-grid system? All of these wires you see here have the same voltage rating. As we see here, 600 volts, 600 volts. So they can all handle whatever voltage you need, no problem. But what dictates how thick the wire needs to be is the amperage and the distance of your circuit. So how do we know how much amperage will flow through our circuit? Well, it starts with trying to figure out what you're trying to power. For instance, on this setup, we have a 3000 watt inverter we're trying to power from these batteries. So amps times volts is watts. So if we have 3,000 watts as the total power at 12 volts, that equals 230 amps of current. In this case, we have a relatively short run to the batteries. It's maybe six feet long, total length from batteries to it loads. So we would go to a table to look up the amperage and length of the circuit to figure out the given wire size we need. So there's one other complicating factor, and that's voltage drop. Despite our best efforts of having really large, thick gauge 2 watt cable, we will still have a little less voltage at this end than when we started. So what's the allowable amount of voltage drop? Well, ABYC, the American Boat and Yacht Council, gives guidance on that. And a circuit can either be designed for 10% voltage drop or 3% voltage drop. And that only difference is how thick the cable has to be. So on non-critical systems, such as inverters or lights, you can design your system with a, up to 10% voltage drop. For critical systems, such as bilge pumps and navigation equipment, you have to design the circuit with 3% voltage drop, which will make the wire size a little bit thicker. I like to keep it simple and use an app. It helps to factor in all these different complications and gives us an easy way to calculate the wire size we need for our system. So the app I like to use is Blue Sea System Circuit Wizard. There's a function here to calculate wire size. You can put in all of the variables you need such as volts, in this case it's a 12 volt system. The load current, we already calculated to be 240 amps. The length of the conductor, and that's the full circuit length from battery to battery, about eight feet. Allowable voltage drop is 10% because this is just power inverter. So the insulation temperature rating is the relates to the wire, and a good quality wire will have a 105 degree centigrade temperature rating. It'll be printed on the side of the wire. So we input that here. If it's installed in an engine room, in this case it's not. There are wires in a bundle, we say two to three wires. The average duration of the load may be about 10 minutes, and it is terminated on a fuse. So we hit calculate, in this case, for this off-grid setup, we need three aught cable size. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to the team at Battleborn Batteries. And in the meantime, I hope you consider supporting Warrior Sailing.